us record. All right, so welcome, Marty. Welcome, everyone. Let's go ahead and find our chairs. We have just a few seconds officially to go here. We'll start with a little bit of a warm up and then we will get going. All right, I'm showing it's time. So let's just start with some shoulder rolls. Let's loosen up the shoulders. So this is a pretty full class. It's pretty cardio based. Remember, you're going to go at your level, bring those arms forward. You can hold weights. You don't have to hold weights. So completely up to you on if you're using the weights or not. Bring those arms up overhead. Side bend, side to side. Work through the waist. You will get one break about halfway. So it is about 14 consistent minutes of work. So pace yourself today. Let's pull those knees into our chest right there. And then we'll, we'll be adding on moves and repeating the first move. So if you've ever done mat mash here at BeFit, it is mat mash style coming up. Our computer freeze on me. Let's see if it kicks back yet. All right. Looks like it kicked back yet. Maybe it gave me my, my one little glitch. I said, I don't know what it is, but if my computer is going to glitch, it's when it is noon here in Texas and it is noon in Texas. It always does it on my Wednesday Pilates class. Like it'll glitch for about 10 seconds and then it seems to be okay. But it's always that noon class. All right. We're going to reach those weights overhead and kick a leg. Welcome, Sarah, right here. So at any time, you're in charge. You can put those weights down anytime you want, anytime you choose to. 30 second moves, pace yourself. Try to sit nice and tall. Eight seconds, we'll go back to our marching. You got it, right here. So these weights will start to get heavy after a while, so put them down anytime you need to, right here, back to that march. Sitting nice and tall. So we're not pushing necessarily to our maximum here because it is 14 straight minutes. So it's more of that steady cardio today rather than a push and a back off. You got it. So we have a new move coming up. Our third move will be a knee pull. We'll pull for 15 seconds one side, 15 seconds the other. So here we go. We're going to turn a little bit to the right and pull across to that knee pull right there. So welcome Sarah Dawkins, welcome Sarah Khan. I got two Sarahs in the class today, welcome to both of you. Here we go, pull across, pull across. Now you can totally do this class standing, switch sides if you choose. Good morning, Jim, or good morning, Nancy. We are doing that mesh style today, so we are repeating moves. We are gonna go back to that kick overhead press right here. Pump and kick, pump and kick. You got it. You're gonna start to feel those shoulders. So remember, you can always change the size of your weights. You do not have to do weights completely up to you. But try to set nice and tall, work in that core. And then you choose, right? I could go super fast, really pushing my heart rate up there. I could stay at a moderate pace. We got it. Nice work. Hang in there, here we go, march and pump, march and pump. So you're kind of getting the pattern now if you've never done a mat mash here at VFET. We just continue to add on, there will be seven total moves. We'll end up doing each move seven times before it's all said and done. We have a new move coming up. I call it Street Fighter because we're gonna be punching down with the option to stand and sit in between. You don't have to stand and sit. You can just go side to side. It looks like this. Four, three, two, one. Option to stand, sit, other way. So you could skip the stand and step, right? I could just punch four, punch four. Or I can add that stand in between. Punch four, stand, sit, punch four. You got it right there. Nice. And then here comes our knee pulls, pull across, pull across. So just when you start to get kind of bored of one move, right, it is time to change it up. You got it, Sarah D. Looks great. Oh, Carol's mom. Is it K? Am I remembering? Is it K? Did I forget? Here we go. Switch sides right here. It is K. Yes, awesome. I remembered. 
You look great, Kate. You got it. Awesome, Sarah C. Looks great, Michelle. We got it right here. Pull across. We're going to kick. Kick and punch right here. Now, I just realized I went a little bit of out, out of order on my moves, but that's okay. I think I'll catch that one at the very end so that I don't get too confused. Which means I'm going to get super confused on the second half of class, so y'all bear with me. <laughs> here we go, team, right here. Nice. March and pump coming up. So I write down the seven moves, you know, so, you know, just to make sure I remember the order. And I skipped one. We'll get it at the end, so no worries, we'll get it. But it's probably going to blow my mind <laughs> because I'm going to mess up every time I look down and I'm like, oh, that's out of order. All right, so coming up, a new move, not new for this class, you've done it with me before. It's going to be the heel dig where we row our boat to the side. Looks like this. Dig and row. Dig and row. You got it. Now you can really get twisty through that upper body. Turn and watch the arms as they row, really taking that twist. Or you can see facing straight ahead, and that'll make the twist a little bit lighter. You got it, Jen. Oh my goodness, look at your little cutie. <laughs> she has thumbs around. Yes, I see you, cutie. You gonna dance for us? She is amazing. All right, street fight, standing is coming. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Stand, sit. Four, three, two, one. Stand, sit. That's it. Stand and sit. So if you're starting to feel like, oh, I can do more, right? I'm not feeling too tired. You can always go faster. So you can always move that body a little bit quicker. And that's going to take that heart rate up higher. You got it. Awesome, Nancy. Here comes our knee pulls right here. Pull. Pull, pull, pull across, knee pulls. Excellent, welcome, Amy. So we're switching into knee pulls here. 15 seconds each side. Here we go, switch sides, switch sides. Pull across, pull across, keep going right there. I'm gonna turn my fan on, it's like really hot. Whew. Pull across, pull across. And then we will have our overhead reach with our kick. Here we go. Kick and pump, kick and pump, kick and pump. That's it. So remember, if you're just coming in too, you might not have heard me say today is more just steady cardio. It's two 14 minute rounds. So we won't do balance work at the end. You are getting strength work, especially if you're holding those weights, but it's more consistent today. So pace yourself. There's not a lot of break in here. If you need a break, take it. You will get one in halfway. March those arms right here. So we have two more moves we'll be adding on before we get to that break. We're still about seven minutes from our break. So if you're feeling like you need a drink of water, you're feeling like you need to slow down, then definitely do so. You got it. We are gonna go into our crazy jacks. Remember, they don't have to be crazy jacks. They can be basic jacks. I'm gonna show you all the different variations here in the beginning. So we can stay right here, just kind of a normal, typical jack. I could also single side it right here, or I can take my crazy jacks where I really kick those legs up. I can also single side my crazy jacks, right? So you have four different variations. You could be here, you could be here, double arms, double legs. You could be single crazy, you could be double crazy, right? So you're gonna have all those options to choose from. Here's our heel dig right here, heel dig. So we only have one new move to add on our next round. So even though it's consistent cardio, you do, it goes kind of fast, right? Because it changes every 30 seconds. And then the second half seems a little different because we go in a different order. Yeah, it's all good. That's why I get confused. <laughs> Street fight coming up into that stand. Here we go, punch four down. Stand, punch. Now, if you wanted a little bit more here because you're getting nice and warm, you could punch two times, stand. Punch two times, stand. So you're gonna be getting more stand in there. You could also single punch, stand, 
single punch stand, single punch stand, single punch stand. And that's gonna take that heart rate up even more if you single punch stance. You've got some options there. All right, here's our knee pull. So I'm building onto it if you want to take more. You do not have to, right? We're all in different places of where we are today. Here we go, switch sides. Switch sides right here. Nice. Pull across, pull across. And we have the front kick right here, front kick, arm press. Nice, so you're starting to recognize all the moves. These moves that we started with, they will be the moves that leave first on the second half. So you're probably going, man, I'm getting tired of some of these moves. We've done them a bunch, right? They're almost gone. You start taking moves away that second half. You got it, Kay, looks great, Marty. Here comes our punch and march right here. Punch and march, punch and march. All right, we got one more new move to add on. It is that inner ankle reach. I'm gonna show you kind of mild, but I'll show you how you can turn it up as well. So if you want more, you're gonna be able to put more in it. Your option, your choice. All right, seven seconds right here. You're gonna learn your final new move coming up. Here we go. So arms are up. We're gonna lift and tap that inner ankle so that knee comes out to the side. Now, if I want more, right, I can really get big in pulling these arms back and moving quicker. Boom, 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 boom. If I want less, right, I hold these hands a little more to the front and I stay a little slower. So you've got the option moving bigger and quicker makes it harder. Here come our jacks, crazy jacks, low impact single side jacks, right? You've got all those options. So here's the deal. If you start coming to chair fit, after about four, maybe five times, if you're gonna know all the moves there are to know, you're gonna have seen them. You know, there's only so many moves we can do, right? Just like exercise in general. So once you know the moves, we just start comboing it in different ways. Right, changing it up. Today's that mash style. Here comes that street fight. Remember, you can four punch, stand, or maybe two punch, stand, or maybe you want to punch, stand, punch, stand, punch, stand, punch, stand. Right? So if you really want to rock it out, right, you're just kind of punching and standing right back up. And you don't have to, my friends. Slow down. Slow down. Do two. Do four. Right, do what works best for you. Awesome, Michelle. Right here, knee pulls. Pull across, pull across. You are about 90 seconds for your break. See, just like that, we're almost halfway. You got it. Second half of class, it's the same amount of time. It always feels faster to me, switch sides. Because we're gonna be taking moves away rather than adding them on. So psychologically, it feels like we're getting there sooner. Here comes our kick and overhead. Kick and overhead. Right here. You got it. Awesome, Amy. It looks great. Hang in there, friends. Steady cardio today. Not a lot of breaks anywhere. We do get that one 30-second break coming up to get some water. And then we'll do the second half of class. So you take a break if you need it. Keep going if you don't. Here we go, final march it out right here, 30 seconds. You will get that one and only break. Right? So you could go quicker. If you're thinking, man, I want more, right? You can always do this run. Or you pick the feet up and you run in the air. Right? So that's always an option if you're wanting more. Or you just move quicker right here, right? Punch, 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 punch. Move those feet as fast as you can. You are in control. Nice, Sarah D. You got it, Kay. Oh, this team is rocking it. And there we go, my friends. That is great time. Woo, grab a drink. Oh, it's your one and only break. So we're going to start with all seven of those moves. But it is going to be the last time we do this march in place. So this set will be taking a move away from the top each time. 
I was trying my best not to get confused, but I'm telling you, it happens. All right, five seconds to go. We'll start with that march, two and one, right here. So this will be the last time that we do this march. So if you're thinking, man, I really want to up it, right? You could run in place right here. You could up it for this one if you want. This is the last time. You got it. Overhead pressing kick is coming. 10 seconds. Anytime you need to though, my friends, just simply move the body any way that feels good to you. So if doing what I'm doing doesn't work for you, you can always come back to this march in place. Otherwise, we are moving on to kicks and we're done with march in place. But it is a great move. Come back to it anytime that you need to do something other than what I'm doing. You got it right here. Nice work. So now we're kind of going opposite order. Knee pulls are next. As we add on from the bottom, we take away from the top. Here we go, right here, knee pulls. Knee pulls. You got it. So I know you're working, Joanne, right? I can't see you. You're not just sitting back rocking in your chair, are you? <laughs> She's my mom, so I can make fun of her. Other side. And I noticed we're missing your mom, Jen. Carla's not here today. I know she's going to actually see my mom. It's my mom's sister. So maybe she's driving right now. Maybe that is her excuse. She should have gotten there earlier and done it with you. Here comes our street fight right here, right? I can do four of them. I can do two of them. I can do single, right? So if I'm feeling really good, single stand, single stand. Now that's really tough to single it up. Single it up, so don't feel that you have to do that. But I want to give it to you as an option. You got it. Nice, it will burn those legs out for sure. It's a single stand. I'm doing a double. And then here comes our heel digs. Row our boat right here. Nice. So we've got two more moves and we'll be back at the top with one fewer moves in the lineup. Crazy jacks coming up, or jacks of any form. You got it, perfect Sarah C. Looks great. Hang in here, try to sit nice and tall. I tend to start slouching. Here comes our jacks here, or our crazy jacks. Right, pick your level. So I taught Tabata this morning, so I'm always a little, you know, a little tireder on Mondays when I teach this boss because Tabata's a doozy, man. So I can always, you know, change that, maybe single crazy jack. And then back to double. And I can change up in those 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Here comes that inner ankle pull. Right, so I can be here, mild, set and tall, or man, I can move it, I can rock it. So choose. All right, when we come to the top, which is coming up, it is that kick with that overhead press for the last time. You got it. Hang on, seven seconds. We are down the back side of that heel now. Here we go, last time right here on this overhead kick. So we are done with marches. We will be done with overhead kicking. Now if your arms are getting tired, right, you can always Punch the arms down. So if those arms start to burn, just change it up a little bit. Knee pulls coming up. Looks great, Nancy. You got it, Amy. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. Knee pulls right here. Knee pulls. Knee pulls. Keep going. I'm gonna enter your name for you, Nancy, because I want to make sure you're getting credit with our attendance. So keep going. Knee pulls. I'll tell you when to switch sides. No worries. I gotcha. All right, right there. Switch sides. Pull to the other side. I get Nancy's name entered here. Pull to that other side. Yes, you can. You got it right there. Pull, pull, pull. And our street fight is coming up. All right, here we go. Three, two, four, however many you want to punch down. And stand. That stand is optional. You don't actually have to stand at all. You could punch, switch, punch, right? So you choose. If you really, if your feet and your knees are feeling super healthy today, 
right? And you can go up and down a lot. You have that option. Don't strain anything that doesn't feel good. You got it right here. Heel digs, heel digs. Right here, just when it really starts to burn. We move on. You got it. Row those arms side to side. You're rowing your canoe, you're rowing, rowing your kayak. That's it. You got it, Jen. All right, crazy jacks are coming. Awesome, K. Here we go. Here's those crazy jacks. Whichever version you like, remember, right down here, low impact jacks work. Your choice. You got it, Michelle. Looks great. That's it, Amy. All right, my friends, hang in there. So those legs are starting to feel a little bit tired. Arms starting to feel a little bit tired. It is because we are two thirds of the way through this class. We got that reach to the ankle to come up. Right here, reach, reach, reach. Nice. You got it. Now my friends, if you need to stop and grab a drink, do so. Right, I needed to, my mouth was getting really dry. So there's not a lot of breaks in this class. So take one if you need one. Awesome, Sarah, see you got it right there. Now when we come back up, we are on those knee pulls. So knee pulls are coming up for the last time. Right here, knee pulls. So this is the last time we'll do this move. You got it. Any time, if you need to put your weights down, put them down. If you want heavier weights, you can grab heavier weights. Switch sides right here, switch, switch. Nice. Straight fight coming up. It starts to get quick in the switch because we've taken quite a few moves away now. So here we go, street fight. Remember, one time, two times, three times, four times, maybe no standing at all. I'm doing a double. So punch, punch, stand, punch, punch, stand. You've got this move right here and one more time. Okay, you got it. Come on, seven seconds. It's a lot of work to push up out of that chair. Nice. Here we go. Heel digs right here. Heel digs. So we only have to do that punch, punch, stand one more time. We're back to heel digs. So this heel dig will become our little bit of a break, right? It's probably going to be the mildest move out of what's left because we've got crazy jacks coming up. So use these heel digs. Give yourself a little bit breather if you need to. You got it. Awesome, Michelle, here we go. Crazy jacks, jumping jacks, however you wanna take your jacks. So these are like seated star jumps, right? And then I can do a regular jack. I can do single side, okay, so find what works for you. I do want you to challenge yourself, but I want you to come back on Thursday. So do what you can do. You got it. Ooh, come on, come on. That burns a little bit. And then in our ankle right here. So this is a lot, these two moves together, crazy jacks, and then this pull across. It is a lot on those legs. So remember, if you need to slow it down, right, I can lift lower. I don't have to lift as high right there. Or I can really push it. You got it. So I am recording, so this will get up on the on demand. I try to get this one changed every couple of weeks. So if you are doing on demand, you know, get a new one every couple of weeks. All right, here we go. Here's that last time. Punch, punch, stand. Remember, you can do four punches, two punches, your choice, or this single, 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 single. Right? It's, there's no, like, break in the legs if I'm doing single here. That one gets pretty tough. But it is the last time we're going to do this move right here. In three, two. And one, oh, heel digs, row to the side. All right, give those legs a little bit of a break as you need, mine are burning. We got this move right here and one more time. So use it, 
I'm just gonna do a little rest because the last like 90 ish seconds of class is gonna be pretty intense with those crazy jacks and those inner ankle reaches. All right, and it's coming up right here. Crazy jacks or any type of jack that you like. Come on. Get your down to the last few minutes. We've got about three and a half minutes of work. It's not even a lot of time to stretch, but if you don't have to run off right after class, I'll stay a little bit longer to give you a decent stretch. But this style, Matt Mash, man, it takes, it takes the class time. You got it right here. And then here comes that inner ankle. Here we go, here we go. So we're down to three moves left. That heel dig is about to come up just one more time. And we finish with crazy jacks and inner ankle rotation. Which is quite the workout for those legs, those hips. But you got this, my friends. You are amazing. Drop those weights if you need to, pick them up. Maybe you dropped them and you want to pick them up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last time, heel digs, row it out. Catch your breath. We got 90 seconds to go after this move. I believe something like that. It may be two minutes. I may be miscounting. It's a, it's a lot of math for when I'm trying to move my body. <laughs> I think it is two minutes after this. You got it right here. Crazy jacks are coming. Now, if you're feeling a bit fatigued, that is normal. You're near the end of the class. Let's go right here with crazy jacks. So maybe, you know, I can still keep my heart rate up, but bring it down a little. Because at the end of a consistent cardio class, you're gonna be feeling it. Okay, you're sweaty, your heart rate's up. So listen to your body. Nice. Right here, side to side, side to side. Here comes that inner ankle. Here we go, inner ankle. So this is what we have left, my friends. We have one more time of crazy jacks. Then we finish for a full minute on this inner ankle because we've got to get it for the end of the crazy jack round and we have to get it one more time in a round of its own. So it is pretty intense. If you're like me, I'm just gonna drop those weights down. My shoulders, my biceps, there's talking to me. And I wanna be able to kind of keep my heart rate up. So if you wanna drop your weights, do it. Here we go, here's our last set of jacks. Right here, we are at that 90 seconds from the finish line. I know I told you that like an hour ago, right? <laughs> we finally made it. We really are 90 seconds now. Crazy jacks work. Oh, my arms do feel better just dropping those weights for a second. Single sided. I wanna just keep moving it. If you need to go back to that march in place, it is right there for you. Anytime you can march in place. Here we go, my friends. This is that last minute right here. Right here, so we've got this one move for a full 60 seconds, and then we are gonna stretch it out. We are gonna go a little bit over today. So I 100% understand if you need to move on, but I do wanna give you that option to have a stretch and take it as you need it. All right, my friends, right here. Here's our last 30 seconds, right here, right here. Let's go. Nice. So we'll have about a minute at the end to stretch, if you've got an extra minute, I'll keep you one extra minute. Come on, right here, 12 seconds. Pull across, pull across, pull across. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, all right, just kind of wiggle side to side a moment. Now for our stretching, feel free to stand, feel free to stay seated. And take one ankle. Press the heel down, lift the toes up, lean forward, but keep that head above the heart. You're just gonna feel that stretch down the back of the leg. So this is where you can stand. If you choose to stand, a lot of times we do this and stand. But I'm just gonna stay seated. And you can too. Nice. The same leg, we're gonna cross that ankle over. Gently press away, getting that stretch in the hip. You want a little more, lean forward. Again, keep that head up above the heart. Don't look down your feet, your heart rate may still be a little bit high, and then lean forward right there. Nice. And then we'll turn, face towards the left, reach for this right ankle, pull that heel to the glute, 
stretch that quad right there. Again, total option stand. We are officially coming down to about 10 seconds left. So if you can hang out, we will get through that other side. Here we go. Let's switch it out. Opposite leg, heel down, toes up, lean forward, lean forward. So I promise you'll get so much more out of this extra minute of stretching than anything else you have to go do that can wait, right? <laughs> you just tell them, I had to stretch. I had to get my minute of stretching in. Nice. Right there. And roll it up, cross that ankle over. Gentle press away, lean forward. Nice. Just a rain here again in Texas today. You see, it hasn't yet. Um, we need rain. It's not that I'm against the rain. I, I just can't go outside when it's raining. I mean, I can. It's just not as much fun. It's fun when you're a kid, right, to play in the rain. Here we go. Here are the heel to glutes. I don't like to play in the rain so much anymore. Awesome job, my friends. You were amazing. So Zoom has updated. With this new update, it does not let me unmute you at the end of class. We're looking into that to see what's going on. So if you would like to unmute yourself, you are more than welcome to. If you've got anybody in class you want to say hi or bye to, just unmute yourself. I'll stick here.